and from Davidson County to Wilson County to Sumner County. Miranda Whittington was at Hendersonville High School where students made their voices heard today during the walkout. After a week of no's. We shouldn't have to be here. Hattie Martinek and Julia Garnett finally got their yes early this morning. Hey, if we could have everyone file in close together as possible. Outside in the Hendersonville High School garden is where their classmates all came together to hear what they had to say. This is not just a walkout. This is not a get out of class excuse. Garnett's this peers listened as she spoke about the lives taken last Monday at the Covenant School in Nashville. I would like to invite you to join me in six minutes of silence to, rep to represent the lives that we have lost. Six minutes of silence allowing students to reflect, pray, <laughs> and cry as the emotions rolled through. It was just another reminder that this could have been us, and it hits really close to home because it was close to home. But as Martinek stood to speak, I'm just so tired of the constant fear I have to live in as I'm trying to further my education. She pushed through her pain to advocate for more change. We as a student body are calling upon Tennessee legislators to reconsider their stance upon firearms out of respect for Tennessee students and Covenant. Because for both teams, they say this walkout was symbolic. It really showed that student voices do matter and that we can come together and we can make change. Six are dead. How many more? And it's just the beginning of the change both teens say they'll continue to fight for. We're going to keep pushing for changes. We're not going to stop. Um, and we're going to be the change we want to see in the world. Protect the kids. In Hendersonville, Miranda Whittington, News 2.